Hi there, welcome to JD Answers. Today I will review the Azadone M01 Pro front and rear dash cam. Make sure to stay to the end because I will show you some driving footage. The front dash cam records at a full HD 1080p resolution and the rear camera records at a 720p resolution. The front dash cam has a 6 glass lens with a 2.0 aperture. This enables nighttime vision to record details at night. The front dash cam has a 150 degree wide angle lens to capture the road and your surroundings. The rear camera has a 120 degree wide angle lens to capture the full view of the road. The Azadone dash cam comes with a 64 gigabyte SD card. Just make sure to format this card before you start recording. The maximum SD card is a 128 gigabyte SD card. And I'll put a link in the description for the recommended SD card. The M01 Pro dash cam has a 3 inch screen which is large enough to play back your videos and edit your settings. The dash cam bracket can move 90 degrees up and down as well as 360 degree rotation to find the correct recording angle. The 360 degree rotation is also good to record someone at your window. The dash cam has an optional backup camera feature. To use this feature, install the red wire to reverse light. There is a link in the description for a step by step on how to install the red wire to your tail lights. When you put your vehicle in reverse, the dash cam will display the rear camera with grid lines to assist you in reversing. The M01 Pro has an ADAS function. There are two features it has a lane departure warning system and a forward collision warning. The lane departure warning system will warn you if you are crossing into another lane. The forward collision warning alarm will sound when it senses you getting close to the vehicle in front of you. The ADAS system is good for beginners, drivers, or the elderly. The dash cam comes with loop recording. Loop recording will create new recordings that will automatically overwrite the oldest recording when the memory card is full. You can set this to 1 minute, 3 minute, or 5 minute loop recordings. Format your dash cam at least once a month because the G-Sensor is taking space from loop recording. Now let's get into G-Sensor. The G-Sensor can be set to off, low, mid, or high. The G-Sensor is triggered by a collision or shake, like potholes, speed bumps, or hard braking, and there will are two automatically start recording there are two your video. Brackets the to dash cam will dash lock cam the current footage and shield. will not be overridden by you loop recording. You can use a suction cup This will protect your video for evidence mount. for insurance claims. The suction cup mount put link in is easy to apply and more can be transferred from one vehicle to loop the recording. other. This video has value information for dash cam to users. Another. Then there the is the manual video lock feature. If you see an incident happen, with a static shield, but not to easy off, all you have to do is touch the lock button. This video will be locked and will not be Both over in the brackets. Will give you the Next, a feature I like is Format Reminder. If you don't format your SD card regularly, you can use a Format Reminder. You can be reminded after 15 days, 30 days, or 60 days. The reason you need to format your dash cam regularly is because the dash cam is deleting and recording new videos. Also, the locked files are taking space from your loop recording. Then there is 24 hour parking mode. To use parking mode, an Azadone hardwire kit is required. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing one. I would also put a link in the description for a step-by-step -step video on how to install the Azadone hardwire kit into your vehicle. Now let me explain what a hardwire kit does. The hardwire kit comes with a low voltage protection feature that automatically turns off the dash cam when the car battery voltage drops below a certain level. This helps to prevent the car's battery from being drained, ensuring that the car can start up normally the next time you use it. For collision detection parking mode, the g sense will automatically detect a collision or shake and auto-lock the video. The Azadome dash cam power cable has two USB-A outlets, one for your dash cam and one for your cell phone. The dash cam also has fatigue warning. You can set this to off, one hour, two hours, or four hours. Once you have set the dash cam with your desired time, the dash cam will alarm when the time is up. All right, now let's put this dash cam to a test and let me show you some driving footage.
All right, what you think? Is this the right dash cam for you? If it is, I'll put links in the description down below. If this video was helpful for you, please like this video because it really helps the channel grow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and select all notifications for all upcoming videos because I got more dash cam reviews and dash cam installations. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.